This is a comic review, not book review, a comic review of Planet of the Apes. It's a UK comics magazine, mainly in black and white, but obviously colour cover, and there's the back. And what does it include? Well, it's obviously the Apes, Planet of the Apes, which is an American magazine, obviously brought out approximately the same size, obviously around the same time as well. And this is issue 51, October 11th, 1975. Um, back you've got the some picks that were, which was actually quite expensive. Set of four colour picks, ninety p. Also a poster, forty p. Include both a bargain price of one pound fifteen. This was eight pence. Well, what we've got first. Thing. Now we had them in black and white in the UK. All our comics were generally black and white. Of course, we did have the US magazines as well, uh, which were obviously generally in colour, but there were the big oversized ones in black and white. This one is Escape from the Planet of the Apes by Rico Rival and Doug Munch. Munch? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Munch. And they're only about like six pages. So we had like the story. So you had six pages. And well, obviously, the American one was probably about 70 pages in long. So you'd have to wait 10 issues before you get the full story. We did really absolutely, we never had a continuous story. You got a letters page, which I always enjoyed. I love letter pages. Love them in omnibus editions now, as well as in the originals. And it's good, good stories. Now they were in Marvel Comics in room 106, 52 High Holborn. Hmm, I wonder why I never walked past that place, because I went High Holborn quite a lot. Never would have realised that's where Marvel was. Should have. Captain Marvel was the next one. So you got Alien and the Amphibian. So you got that story. Submariner. Now the artwork in here, the restoration, I say restoration, not restoration, the print. Quite often in omnibus editions, etc., I always think the colour ones, when I look at it, I look I look at the quality of the restoration. And when you go back to some of these black and white ones, sometimes it's really super sharp and they're oversized. So you get really, really good. You know, this is pretty decent stuff. Now the submariner, this one, Captain Marvel, wasn't so good. For some weird reason, but this one's pretty good. The Warlock one, Power of Warlock. I'll get into that in a sec. Britain's Super Jokers. They've actually got jokes. We actually people sent in jokes, and I mean they're pretty awful. They were fun. They were lovely, but they were of their time. And it's very unfair to say they were awful because they weren't. That one's funny. It's a Hulk joke. I'm not going to say it. But the thing is, I think it's even better, is that they fact they printed the addresses and the name of the kids and the age, something you would not get nowadays. Data protection in the UK, etc., worries, etc. They would not print that. But so, uh, but they did back then. No one worried back in the 1970s. Ron Ely and Doc Savage. That was a film that came out then. And uh, The Man of Bronze. And you got the where it was oh, Carlisle, Gloucester, Sittingbourne, classic in classic two. I wonder if any cinemas are still around. I doubt if they are still around. Anyway, Power of Warlock. I love this one. This was Doom, Doc Doom, but it wasn't the evil Doc Doom. But again, the quality of the print is brilliant. I love it. So this is very good chart. Also, you've got a checklist. You've got a checklist here, you've got Stan Lee. Got the Stan Lee bit. It's a winner, obviously says new format. And this was obviously Mighty Marvel is on the move, our latest magazine. And it features, talks about Spider-Man Comics Weekly, the Avengers magazine, and so on. Great superheroes magazine. So you got Warlock. Now some of these didn't last long in a particular magazine. So they would be in this issue for a bit, and then subsequently they would suddenly be in another issue. So you'd have to go and Buy that issue, and I did buy all of them. Did enjoy the UK ones. Go all the way through to the end. Brilliant story. I love the Warlock story. And then you got Titans. And you got Captain Marvel. And that, but that was a weird one because you actually had the magazine. It was that direction, so you actually read the strip. It actually had a lot of stories, and that was brilliant. And I love that one. So that was advertising it. So Plenty of Apes. These are great magazines. You can find them a lot of different places, obviously auction sites of this place, but also places like 30th Century Comics in the UK. 
which is one of the best shops for selling old. Also, uh, Dave's Comics comes to mind. That's in Brighton, and there's probably many others where you can find these old magazines. So, very good. Excellent.